In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Content Forge. Now, Content Forge is another AI powered copywriting assistant that's on AppSumo. Currently, it's $49 for the lifetime deal, and that includes uh, 10,000 words per month, over 20 plus tools, unlimited projects, and unlimited long form documents. And if you want to go ahead and stack your codes so you can get more words, you can go ahead and do so. So if you get two codes, so essentially you'll be paying $100, that will give you 20,000 words per month. Three codes would be $150, which would give you 30,000 words per month and so on. So this deal does expire within three days. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this tool to see how it stacks up against some of the other top AI copywriters in the market. So if you want to go ahead and grab this tool, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal below this video. Once you get a plan for Content Forge, this is what your dashboard will look like. So it's very simple compared to some of the other AI copywriting tools. So as you can see, you can go ahead and create your long form document right from this section or you can go ahead and use specific tools to help you boost your productivity. So you can use tools to create content for a specific use case. Um, you, can generate blog you can generate blog post ideas, product descriptions, microcopy, and much more. So the first section is for long form content while the second section would be for short form content. Let's first get started by taking a look at the long form copy templates. Let's go ahead and create our first document and we'll use the document wizard. So this will help me create a document with a head start useful for blog posts, social media and emails. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and create a blank copy by using um, this section here. The first thing that we need to do is describe the content to the AI. So you need to provide a description to let the AI know what the content is about. So the more context you give, the better the output will be. For audience, we'll leave it to anyone. Tone, we'll leave this to casual as well. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the different tones that we have. So friendly, creative, playful, professional, informal, bold. We'll actually go ahead and change this to professional and we'll leave the language to English American. When it comes to choosing a title, we can go ahead and write our own or generate some suggestions. So I'm going to let the AI um, get us some suggestions for a title for this blog post. Okay, how to start an online business as a beginner. Not very creative at all, but let's go ahead and just choose the first one here. Click continue. So let's go ahead and start by generating an intro paragraph. Then we'll go ahead and generate an outline. Okay, so these are the outputs in which we got back for this blog post. So again, remember this blog post is about how to start an online business as a beginner. Let's go ahead and quickly read through these intro paragraphs. So you may be wondering how to start an online business when you have no experience or money. This can be daunting, but not impossible. The first step is to research your options and find a niche that you're passionate about. Once you have found your niche, you need to create a website or blog and start promoting your business. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. The next output is, uh, have you ever thought about starting your own business but didn't know where to start? If you're a beginner with no experience or money, this post is for you. Okay, so this is also really good as well. Many people think that starting an online business is a difficult and expensive task, but that's not necessarily true. Okay, so I think these are all actually really um good intros very relevant to what we're writing about so it's just a matter of preference as to which one you like the best personally i like the last um sort of output here so let's go ahead and copy this click continue so your document is ready let's go ahead and create new document now that we have our intro and our title let's go ahead and try to generate a outline for this blog post so I'm trying to figure out how we can actually go about um, generating an outline for this blog post. I know that we had the option before when we we're setting up this blog post, but for some reason, I don't really see any other um, templates here in which we can use or the ability to um, go ahead and generate an outline. So I don't think they have a built in outline template here in which we can easily access on the long form assistant, which they probably should have um, included there. But if you wanted to go ahead and generate a outline, just head over to the tools section, head over to blog post outline and enter the information in here about the blog post and you'd be able to generate an outline. Okay, so these are the results in which I got back. The first two are kind of irrelevant, but the third one is pretty good. So why starting an online business is a good idea, why you need to get started, how to find a niche, how to get traffic to your site and how to make money from your site and a conclusion. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to head back over to the document and go ahead and just um, paste that in there. Now, in order to generate copy for your specific sections, just go ahead and highlight that section. And you have the options of rewriting, expanding, and writing a paragraph for that specific section. So let's go ahead and hit paragraph here and see the type of content we can expect from this tool. Okay, so why starting an online business is a good idea. A lot of people have been starting their online businesses lately, and there's plenty of good reasons why. For one thing, it's a great way to make some extra money. But more importantly, it gives you the chance to be your own boss and control your own destiny. Okay, pretty decent. If you highlight a section, but you're not able to generate a paragraph, you just need to go ahead and make that into a title. 
So make it an H1 or H2. And now as you can see, you can go ahead and generate a paragraph. So let's go ahead and generate a paragraph about how to find the right niche for your online business. So starting online business can be a great way to make money. Okay, so our content here was pretty short. So let's go ahead and highlight the last sentence and go ahead and click expand. We got some content back, but again, not very long. So let's go ahead and try a different method of generation. Let's go ahead and click the generate content button here and see if that will um, expand this content to be a little bit longer. Okay, so that was able to give us a lot more relevant and longer content by using the actual generate content button. So let's go ahead and continue um, hitting that because it seems as though the AI sort of left off in the middle of a sentence here. Again, let's continue hitting that generate content. Okay, here, so we got a pretty decent paragraph here that's uh, fairly relevant to what we're talking about, um, which is how to find the right niche for your online business. So it talks about starting by doing some research, checking to see if there's a market for what you're selling. And it also talks about doing some keyword research. So some very actionable and very relevant um, content for this specific section. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate a paragraph for one more section. Again, you wanna go ahead and make that an H2 um, tag or else you won't be able to generate a paragraph. And sometimes you may need to expand your section so that you're giving more context to the AI. Once you're happy, just go ahead and hit paragraph. And in order to expand that content, just go ahead and click the generate content at the bottom section here. Um, that seems to be the best method if you want to go ahead and get some longer content while using this tool. And just go ahead and continue um, hitting generate content until the AI stops writing. Okay, so this is the content in which we got back about how to get traffic to your new website. So it talks about paid advertising. We also got some content about search engine optimization, social media, and creating content. So actually very, very good, um, relevant, and very high quality and actionable content here that someone could use if they wanted to get more traffic to their new website. For the most part, we've been getting pretty high quality content using this tool. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed and it's exceeded my expectations as to um, the quality of content to which I was expecting. So well done, Content Forge. So that's the long form template. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at some of the short form tools included in Content Forge. As you can see on the left hand side here, you have a variety of different short form templates and they're all categorized by the type of content in which you'll be generating. So we see e-commerce, you have product name, product description, product listicle. Under blog, we have blog post idea, blog post outline, blog post title, and blog intro. And then we have digital ads. So we have your Facebook ads, your Google ads, and your LinkedIn ads. And then you have some specific website tools such as SEO made a title, SEO made a description, and micro copy. We have some marketing um, templates such as the AIDA and the PAS. And lastly, you have the sentence rewriter and the sentence expander. And in order to use any of these short form templates, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go ahead and choose that template and go ahead and follow the details. So you wanna go ahead and enter the input just depending on the type of content in which you're writing and go ahead and click generate and you'll get some short form copy from that specific template. Overall, Content Forge exceeded my expectations in terms of the quality, in terms of the depth of information in which I was expecting to get back from this AI copywriter. So for the most part, I would recommend you going out and trying out this tool. It is very affordable at only $49 for the lifetime deal. So you can go ahead and give it a try before the offer expires. And if you like this tool, you can go ahead and upgrade to a second tier to get some more words each month. So I'll go ahead and leave a link below this video. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.